Well, it's a long, hard road to the top in the entertainment industry and even harder to stay there, as our next two guests know only too well. Deanna Peher uh, was the first female to win Queensland Entertainer of the Year Award. And Dean Daniels also joins us. He's among Queensland's rising stars. And uh, welcome to you both. Thank you. Dean, I should have mentioned that you've got an award too, which uh, is sitting there right in front of you for uh, Best New Talent oh, yeah. in Queensland. Congratulations to you both. What a fine achievement. Thank you very much. And Dina, tell me, how long does it take to become an overnight success? Oh, gee, we're still trying. <laughs> I think you've just got to keep going and continuity of work is, is what will do it for sure. you. Sure. Yeah. What sort of work history have you had? Uh, I actually started in television from the age of six in a show very similar to Young Talent Time. Mm -hmm. We sang and danced our way through shopping centres and very similar to Dean's background too, I imagine. Sure. And quest. A bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. How hard is it to, to make that first break, you know, to win your first talent quest? Very, very hard. You take a lot of knocks at first, but keep right. plugging along and you finally get there. Do a lot of people sort of drop out at about that stage, you know, when they, when they get knocked back a couple of times? I think a lot of people get disillusioned, mm. but um, as I said, if you just keep trying, keep battling and... Yeah. Sure. It's so what brings you two together? I mean, uh, do you normally work together? No, we have no. done in the past, but we thought combining, you know, the up-and-coming new talent and my supposedly Queensland Entertainer of the Year, we'd get together and do a song. What a great idea. Now listen, uh, Dina, you're, you've got a background in dancing as well. I have, yes. Do you consider yourself a singer, a dancer? I consider myself a dancer first, right. and then I decided I'd add the vocals, and I actually carry dancers with me in my show. Sure. What yeah. about you, Dean? Uh, more of a singer than Definitely. a dancer. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right. What, uh, you, you, you've put shows together. Um, yes, I have. What's, yes. what's involved with that? Uh, it's a lot of hard work, choreography, costuming, yeah, but it's fun. I enjoy the organisation side of things. So you work on, on everything yourself? You're virtually yes, one man or one woman show. That's right, yeah. Deanna, do you see yourself as a, as a, uh, a trailblazer, the first female uh, winner of the Queensland Entertainer of the Year? Um, I'd like to think that it's an opening for females. There's a lot of talented females here in Queensland who don't really get the recognition, so hopefully it's the start of something for females. Sure. What sort of work do you get? I mean, uh, is the work available? Yes, it for is. For young entertainers? Yes, I think so. Young entertainers, I like, I like <laughs> you. Um, I do the cabaret scene, the, the clubs. I don't do hotels or mm -hmm. that sort of thing, but mostly the cabaret circuit is what I'm doing. Here. Sure. What about you, Dean? Oh, quietly. Well, it's, I'm on the verge of getting there at the moment. Right. It's not, there's not that much around. At the so you're, you're trying very, very hard, very to, hard to find work. Yes. So I hope that uh, anybody listening is paying attention to this. Uh, sure. Because I've, I've seen you both perform, and I think that you uh, both have a lot to offer the Thank entertainment you. industry, as our, our viewers are going to find out a little later on in the program. Dean, what, uh, what sort of uh, made you move towards entertainment? What made you pick entertainment as your chosen career? Um, well, I've always <coughs> sort of sung around the house, and then I joined the choirs, a few choirs I've been in, and then gradually get into the talent quest and you start winning those and you go on from there. How important has formal training been for you both? Um, well, I'm not formally trained as a singer. <coughs> I am as a dancer, as Dean is as a singer. Um, I think it is probably, it's important, but I think it's natural talent as well. I think it's personality and presentation is just as important. It doesn't really matter how good you sing. You've got to be able to entertain the people. Sure. Dean, where do you see yourself in, say, five years' time? What, what, do you, what would you really like to be doing? Um, Full-time entertainment, just mm -hmm. make people happy and sing. And, uh, you don't see yourself uh, with a recording career or something like that? Because you do have a great oh, voice. Well, you always hope, <coughs> that, but it's a very hard road. So. How does that come about? Um, <coughs> pardon me, does, it, does, does somebody come along and offer you a contract or have you got to knock on doors? Or? If you're lucky, somebody will come along. But um, I've released my first album, but it's only purely as a souvenir for after the show. Sure. But um, recording, it's not easy, is it, mm -hmm. to get into. What's involved in recording? Does it cost a lot of money? I think so, yeah, I believe mm. so. so but there's a lot of money to be made if you're successful. If you're successful. Yeah. So it's not something that everybody can just go out and say, well, not I think really. I might make an album next week. You can, but whether or not you, you get your rewards from it, it's a different sure. story. Right. Well, we're both looking forward, uh, we we're all looking forward to seeing you both perform. Uh, but first of all, we're going to take a break and uh, we'll be back then to, uh, to watch uh, Deanna and Dean perform The Rhythm of the Night. Don't go away. Mm. 